Welcome to this all matte eye tutorial. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I am doing a matte, an all matte eye look. I'm doing this look as a, as a collab look with Melissa from Melissa Prada here on YouTube. She is um, using the new Na Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. So if you're interested in seeing that look, you should head over to her channel. I know you'll love her. She does some great tutorials and vlogs, and she's uh, she works at Sephora, so she has a lot of knowledge. To see how I get this look, then keep on watching. Start with NYX Base in white. It's just a matte white base and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my lid and just be generous with it. Do it all the way up into your brow bone. Then I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going into the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going in between the colors cream and white and I'm just going to lay this down on the lid. Now I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and I, a blending brush and I'm going to go into the color Kid from MAC. It's just a matte brown, a, a nice mid-tone matte brown. Shade. Don't have Kid. The color Taupe is the perfect matte shade from the Lorac palette so you can just go ahead and use that. But I'm just going to use Kid for this tutorial and I'm just going to run that through my crease and blend it out love the way all matte shadows look on the eyes. They're really great to have a neutral eye using matte shadows. That way you can pair it with any bold or bright lip you have. Also, matte shadows are great if your eyelids are aging. Next, I'm going to go in with Brun from MAC, B-R-U-N. It is just a matte, uh, cool tone brown color. Shading brush from Real Techniques. Any shading brush, a, a smaller, stiffer brush. And I'm just going to put that right on the outer corners and run it a little bit into the actual crease. Just do small little swirling motions. And then I'm going to bring it down almost like angling it towards my lash line and run it up along just the outer portion of my lash line. I'm also going to take Brune on this same um, eyeshadow brush and run it under my lash line. So I just took whatever was extra and dropped on the brush and just dragged it along the whole inner crease part just to kind of blend that those colors together and to darken it up. But it's the darkest right here on the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this pencil brush and from Crown and I'm going to go into this color Espresso in the Lorac Pro Palette. Any dark brown you have. And I'm just going to run this right in the middle part right here. just right here on the outside, just to deepen it up just a little bit more. And I'm applying hardly any pressure at all to this. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. angled contour brush and I'm going to go into the color mauve in the Lorac Pro Palette. Any mid-tone mauve color that you have, I'm just going to barely tap that in and t make sure I tap off the excess and then I'm just going to blend all that out. I like using this brush because the tip of it, when you put it in your eye, it, it goes almost up to your brow bone, but not quite. And it just gives like a nice peak of color. And with your favorite um, eyeliner, I'm going in with this liquid liner from Jordana, and you can get this at Walgreens. This is what the line should look like when you're finished. Now I'm going to be going in with a brown eyeliner. I'm using Stila's Smudge Stick in Line Fish, and I'm just running that in my waterline. Now curl your lashes and apply mascara. For my mascaras today, I'm going to start out with Maybelline's The Rocket Mascara first layer, and then the second layer I'm going to use L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. For my lipstick today, I used Max Up The Amp, which is a really pretty creamy purple color. And then over top of that, I apply Buxom's Cream, big and healthy lip cream in purple haze. On my cheeks today, I'm wearing uh, Max Small Vanity Blush. This was a limited edition, but it's still out right now. It's just a really nice. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's like a brownie pink. Okay, everyone. So this is the finished eye look. Don't forget to head over to Melissa's channel to see how she uses the new Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I'm really curious to see. I know that thing is the big way to give you two different options for different matte eye looks. 
As you can see, I've already done my hair. It looks a little bit different. I did film just film a tutorial on this, so if it's not up already, it will be up soon, and I will link it in the down Go bar. Go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss that tutorial. You'll get notified when it Thank comes. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.